it's that was entirely my fault. That had nothing to do with the difficulty. I just muscle memory as usual. Debería darle las gracias. Capturar a Bruce Wayne es mucho más fácil que a Batman. Y ahora que le tenemos, el protocolo 10 ya puede empezar. Será mi legado. I could have probably continued, but I refuse to take a run that dies two times in the same place. I don't even really want to take any deaths, but definitely not two in the same place. I have so much more room for improvement with the early game anyway, I don't need to take a run like that. It sure doesn't. Gotta adjust. I've been running easy for so long that I sort of forgot how to play hard. That's alright, we'll get there. I'm definitely playing at the level to get like a 107 or something like that. It's just gotta play the game correctly and not make any catastrophic mistakes. Okay, I'm looking at what that guy was doing and he actually, okay, that guy didn't deserve it. Never mind. The guy who was being a jerk just got whacked and then some random guy got shot for no reason. Learn hard first. That's a good way to do it. Hard gets you, you get a lot better at the game playing on hard. forces you to actually think about um, the game and like not just like wing it. You have to actually learn strats and stuff for predators and all that. Whereas on easy, like most of my um, most of my early easy runs, I had like I had no idea what I was doing. I was just playing the game, basically, just winging it. And since it's easy, you can just like do whatever you want in predators. Which is fine for a while, but once you start optimizing, you really have to learn things. For to your final casual play? I mean, it's not like you can never play the games again. That's it. I was at a point where I was kind of already done with the story for this game when I got into speedrunning. Like, the only reason I would probably end up playing it again is, uh, just, like, doing a full series playthrough and lead up to the new game, if and when there is one. I mean, you're, I mean you've only been doing that for, like, 25 minutes, right? When was the last time you said anything? I don't have timestamps on this, whatever. Those things are slow sometimes. Four minutes. So, yeah, that's, that's a... Man, that's such a long time. I can't believe. Like, just, just be patient. I don't know. You're the one that really wants to play the game, and, uh, you know what you signed yourself up for. Bueno, digamos que es una venganza la antigua usanza. A million years. Yeah, this this intro is a million years long. So that checks out. Slow counters. Hey, Parzival. Speaking of slow, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm gonna try it. Try to kite them around. Yep, that was worth it. I should probably do that, just to like, still keep trying to get better at uh, no setuping it, but since it's hard, try to do this setup at least once. This is still quite a bit faster than anything else. Kidding okay, Penguin's teeth, is, it sure is. It's very nice, It's it's fun to knock him out. Just like, as he's like walking away, he's like, he doesn't even think he's in danger. He's like, oh, thugs, take care of him. And then you just like, whack him on the back of the head. Good times. Big Penguin is also optimal. It sure is, but uh, 
Punching him in the back of the head is not frame perfect, so... It's faster on that ledge. Um, do you shimmy anywhere? Like, I mean, obviously you can shimmy on everything, but... I don't. I can't think of any other point in the game where we actually have to do that. So I honestly don't have a reference point in mind. You could totally be right. The It must be the bat suit weighing him down, right? The utility belt, specifically. It's weird to think I have an accent, but I know what you mean. Well, alright, we're going around the water tower this way again. I did that at GDQ too, I don't know why. That was kind of weird. Okay. Did you see that? You just like plopped straight down. What was that? That wasn't momentum. That was just that was just weird. Optimal? It's not though. <laughs> ah, I thought I could get that, but I was a little too uh greedy. Come on, dude. Should have just thrown more batterings. You do have a nice accent. Yeah, it's, that's, that's the thing. Nobody nobody thinks they have an accent. Ah, okay. But everybody does. Whoop. Excessively English. That would be good. Whoop, I accidentally split myself there. Even though this game is fully auto now, I still have a manual split button on my mouse. Uh, what am I going to do to Harley? I'm just going to try to counter her. Yeah, see? Like, that's what's supposed to happen every time. I don't know why I catastrophically fail that constantly. I need to refill my water. If everyone has an accent, nobody has an accent. That's not how that works. Because everybody has a different accent. Everybody had the same accent, then yeah, accents wouldn't exist. And I know I'm just destroying your Incredibles reference with uh, logic, but too bad. That's how I operate. <laughs> sub one, definitely not sub one on hard. Estos <laughs> chicos te mantendrán entretenido. Si intenta algo raro. I'm not even gonna try to say that because I can't convincingly pull that off. It would just be offensive to you, frankly, if I tried. This is not an Incredibles reference. Should have been. I need a tier 2 sub so that somebody can actually use my, my Captain America emote. Or I just need more emote slots and to not have things lined up so I don't have to use my tier 2 slots. Because that Captain America emote is top tier and nobody can ever use it. Game 
chicken do? Uh, absolutely nothing. Just, like, you know, cheer me on or whatever. All the, uh, all the channel point rewards, if you click on them, they have a description of what they do or don't do or whatever. Also, don't forget to put points towards the uh, Trilogy Any Percent, because I actually kind of want to do that soon. And I mean, I could just do it anyway, but that would be kind of dumb. It was like, yeah, we're like at 60k, but I'm just going to do it now. It's, it's honestly, it's getting raised so fast, though, that like... Like, we were at like 30k at the start of this stream, I think. And now we're at 60, so I don't think, I don't think reaching the goal will be a problem. Yeah, it'll be fun. Night's gonna be a disaster, but uh, it's night. Not at standards. What is that supposed to mean? All James said. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll definitely, definitely do anthology. It's just uh. Having two games that I kind of suck at in the run is probably not a great idea. I need to get a little bit better at at least one of them first. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody really doesn't like Origins. This happens every stream. Somebody gets pissed off about how they don't like Night. Somebody gets pissed off about how they don't like Origins. Uh, somebody makes a joke about how I should run Blackgate. And somebody tells me about the new Arkham game and all the information we don't know about it. And asks me if I'm going to speedrun it. Yeah, there's always backlash to the backlash. It's just, it's, it's tiring to see it all the time. <laughs> Let's not go there. Pissed that people are pissed. Someone is pissed at being pissed. Yeah. I agree. I'm pissed at you for being pissed at all that. So, uh, checkmate. <laughs> That's how chess works, right? You just argue your way to victory. Oh, I immediately lost my combo. Beautiful. That's exactly the plan. That's fine. Oh, I didn't quite get the upgrade point. That was fine, though. Great City is the best Arkham game. I don't think we're all in agreement on that, but I I definitely think it's my favorite game. And I don't care if it's the best. I just know that it's the one I like the most. But I like them all, so it doesn't really matter. Trying to figure out which one's the best is just like a great way to start an argument and not much else. Just enjoy the things you enjoy, and don't worry about the things you don't enjoy, and your life will be a lot better than if you try to argue with everybody. <laughs> that's my take on everything that's happened so far. Ayuda! 
Hey, Gandy man, thank you for the good luck. Those are the, uh, those are the, what's the, what's the nice way to put this? The alternate Arkham games. Let's put it that way. That's the nice way to put it. Tint of purple in the cape. I could not possibly be bothered by that because I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm colorblind though, so the better Arkham games. Um... Hmm, what's another way to put it that, like, is a middle point between what you're saying and what I'm saying? It's like a synonym of better that doesn't strictly mean better. I've seen worse. Look at that cutscene skip gold. That was Arkham Auto I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I think you play as the villains or something. Go for that grapple cancel over to stay on low health. Yeah, that's that's fair. Might only be on Xbox 360 PS3. I that's unlikely. I I just like I just straight up wouldn't be able to tell you because I wouldn't see it. Mobile Tycoon game probably. Yeah. Matrix Path of Neo. That is a very interesting Arkham game. Most interestingly because it's not actually an Arkham game. So we've had we've had Tycoon game. We've had VR game. We've had DS game. So naturally the next step is going to be tower defense game. I'm I'm sticking with that. That is my official prediction. Or Superman 64, that's also a good Arkham game. And by good, I mean, uh, hmm, alternate. <laughs> Alternative. If you don't like the Arkham games, try Superman 64. It's, it's an alternative. Because if you think the Arkham games are bad, then you're clearly a backwards human being, and maybe you'll enjoy Superman 64. <laughs> Command 64 speed run? Mm, no. I actually do not want to run any N64 game in general. Just, I just, I don't like the N64 as a console. Spider-Man is a good Batman. It's, people always compare it to Arkham, but like, honestly, it's not that similar. It's way, it has way more in common with older Spider-Man games than it does with Arkham. Like, uh, my, my sort of favorites, no, 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 I didn't say the N64 was bad, I did not say that, I said I don't like it as a console, I like the games it has, but I just don't like, you know, using the N64, if that makes sense. It's mostly the controller, I really don't like the controller. And not just because it's, like, stupid, but, like, because it just, the, the, the stick specifically, like, actually hurts my hand. And I just can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, the, my, before Spider-Man PS4 came out, uh, my favorite Spider-Man game was The Amazing Spider-Man. Despite being a tie-in with a not great movie, I actually genuinely really enjoyed that game, and Spider-Man PS4 feels like a better version of that game. More than it feels like an Arkham game. Alright, uh, interesting. He, like, got stuck under that other guy or something? or on your PC for free. Um, well, not legally, but there is, you know, emulators exist. And before, what's an emulator? The N64 emulator should be a little easier to get than, uh, than Android emulators. 
iPad take pictures of the spiders on the walls? I cannot honestly say for sure. Just, uh, people really love Spider-Man 2. I never actually played it. What's the emulator? I mean, you're the one that asked that <laughs> that one time. It was jokingly, but still. I'm gonna hold it against you anyway. No, not you, it was Retro. Yeah, I never I never really played Spider-Man 2, and unfortunately it seems like the game didn't hold up that well overall. So I kinda I don't want to play it. Because I'm just worried I'll just have a bad experience with it and better to just like know that people enjoyed it and leave it at that. I probably will end up having to play it though at some point. Uh, does it matter what you play it on? Like is it like some games where it's a different version on different consoles or is it just like... I think there's one Spider-Man game that's completely different on PC. PC game PC game is a different game and it's awful. Cool. So do the console one. Got it. That would be the one I have actually. Um I think I have the Xbox one. Is the one I would immediately have access to. I'd also be able to play the PS2 version. I would just have to get it. Algo está bloqueando la comunicación con Avancorva. El M1 estará usando disruptores de comunicaciones militares. La única forma de superar esta seguridad Xbox es Smash. Is, uh, is the Xbox version no good? I assume it's the same as the PS2 and GameCube version. That would be kind of weird if it wasn't. Remember to hard. I hate that slide so much. It never does what I want it to do anymore. What are you doing? Oh my god, he almost glide kicked that random guy way over there. I don't know why he wants to glide kick everybody here. It's so obnoxious. Looks like it? Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Excuse me. I think he saw me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. For human contact. But only there. Once he takes out the second jammer, he suddenly is just like, you know what? This is weird. I'm not into this anymore. I'm a little lower than I'd like to be, but I think we're okay. Oh yeah, we're perfectly fine. I'll just have to uh, not glide completely optimally here. Dude, my smoke doesn't recharge fast enough. I don't really know what to do there. I feel like I need to run that a little differently so that I don't have to wait for the smoke. But I'm not really sure. Maybe I just need to actually drop it before the third jammer because I didn't do that this time and I had to wait a while. Alfred. Oh man, that would be that would be an interesting translation job there.
I also have to say I wish the translation team took that liberty. <laughs> but I'm also glad they didn't. <laughs> Although, there is an Italian dub. I don't know what that is like. That would be pretty hilarious. Italian's super slow though, so we'll never find out. Like it's almost as slow as English, if I recall correctly. Italian once. We we got to at least find out if um if if it's Alfredo. Hey Kronos, thank you for the good luck. Yeah, this run's going pretty well. It's not quite on world record pace yet, but I do have a fair amount of time save later on if I just play reasonably well and don't screw up this skip. Apparently, super liable to do. But not today. I like nailing that. Feels good. Okay. We still got gel warp, though, and then we still got the entire rest of the game. <laughs> so. Don't get too excited. Play. I'm, I'm, I don't actually remember listening to the dialogue, but I'm pretty sure I would remember if he called him Alfredo, especially because there was one line of dialogue that I know was mistranslated. So I listened to it in all the languages to see if it was tr mistranslated in all the languages. I'm fairly certain Alfredo isn't real. Definitely can hurt you, it is very real. Uh, yeah, I did play the Telltale games. I wasn't, I liked the first season. I wasn't particularly impressed with the second one. I'm curious, now that Telltale exists again, I'm curious if they'll make another one. If they do, I probably won't play it. But I'm curious if they'll even try. Or if they'll fold again before they get to do anything. Cause I, I think they still haven't actually released anything yet. Which is a little weird. They announced at least two things that they're doing, but they haven't, like, actually done them yet. And they... I think they announced The Wolf Among Us 2 last year, and now it's August. The Joker... I didn't really... I didn't like the Joker that much. Okay, thank goodness that guy was cooperative. Like John Doe. He's saying, no, I just have a different opinion than you. I don't know, I just like... I can appreciate what they were trying to do with it, but I just wasn't... I didn't like it. I wasn't into it. But that's entirely just me. I didn't think it was bad, it just didn't like it. A flawless voice impression. Oh, you can- I see. You can impersonate his Joker. Gotcha. Or you can do an impression of his Joker, rather. Impersonate him. You can pretend to be John Doe. It's online, it's great. Everyone really loves it, but nobody played it, so they shut it down. <laughs> so, I don't know how much people actually liked it. I played enough to not really get it. 
I did two, I did exactly two rounds of Origins of the Multiplayer. One, I played as Robin, which was like meh. So it's like, okay, it's just like Predator, but you're fighting people, I guess, which is cool in concept, but meh. On the second one, uh, I played as a thug and I was like, oh, it's just Gears of War. And then 30 seconds in, it crashed and I never got into the multiplayer ever again. So, <laughs> that's my experience with Arkham Origins multiplayer. <laughs> So I don't exactly have a high opinion of it myself. Soul after Batman, that's pretty cool. Wait, apparently it's on console. I'm surprised it is. I assume Xbox is gonna... Maybe maybe that's what it is. It's on Xbox servers, so... They shut down, like, their servers, but the Xbox matchmaking is still live. It's gonna lobby. Yeah, that's... A, the thing is, I literally, like... I left it on forever, and it just would be like, Nope, you can't connect. And I would try it again another day. Nope, you can't connect. It would just do that over and over and over again. So I literally couldn't play it af after it disconnected me that one time. Oh, but it doesn't work on Steam. That's weird. Anyway, I played it a little bit, and I'm not even going to try playing it anymore. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, WB just stopped supporting them, and it's I assume it's their job to, like, tell somebody there's a problem and turn them back on. So, if they can't be bothered to do that... And Steam doesn't care. Hey, Bubbles. I am indeed that guy who ran Arkham City at GDQ. And you're that other guy who ran Arkham City at GDQ. Well, we'd also need Robo Sparkle for the whole set, because he also did a run. Way, way back in 2013. The old days. I didn't have the rec equipped. Veo que ha pedido información sobre. That brings us to like four city appearances in nine years of this game existing. That's actually not bad, all things considered. There will definitely be more. Do I have any idea what virtualization is? Uh, gonna need some context here. Room, don't fail me now. Virtualization. Um, what would that be? Is it a setting in the emulator? Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. Oh. What emulator did you download? Maybe, maybe get a different one. Because <laughs> that shouldn't be Bluestacks. I've never heard of it. Anything that requires you to change your, like, system bio settings to run is probably not worth trying to run. In general. <laughs> Oh, 
It's all good, SPO. You'll catch up. You better catch up very quickly. a very good Twitch chat meme. I approve of this. Starting to get on my good side. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Whoosh. Oh, you're still in the Android emulator. I thought you were... Uh, that explains why I've never heard of it. I thought you were you had moved on to uh, Superman 64. Pues que comiencen las pruebas. Okay, damn, nice. Can't wait till you say that about lockdown. And then I can throw that quote back in your face. Los posibles sucesores han demostrado no ser nada más que unos niños, luchando contra la enormidad de la creación. He visto cosas peores. Nada puede prepararte para lo que viene ahora. El destino decidirá tu suerte. No fallaré. He escuchado esas palabras cientos de veces. Esperemos que tengas razón. Tu viaje comienza atravesando el... It's a good lesson. Things turn on you very quickly. Especially when you uh, forget something very important. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, there's still a lot of run left, so, you know. As usual, don't get too attached to it. I could die anywhere. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I guess this is on world record pace now. Strictly speaking. Not that pace really means a whole lot, but still. Yeah. I, I can stop if I'm actually <laughs> causing you concern. Estas pruebas demostrarán si eres lo bastante fuerte para liderar mis fuerzas, para salvar al mundo del mal que lo destruye. I think looking directly into your soul is a good gag. Oh, whoops, that's that's the opposite of what you do. You kick and then you boom. That's why it's called the kick and boom. Nice. This is going incredibly well. There we go. Eres tu aquel que he estado buscando detective. Aquel que me sucederá. sangre del demonio me ha permitido vivir 600 años. Imagínate el bien que podrías hacer con semejante. Well, his feet are getting some nice air in this hallucination world, so I guess that's probably good enough. I'm gonna assume he has vents on the boots, so I can actually enjoy it. Solo te mantendrá con vida unas pocas, pero valiosas horas. Es hora de que tomes la decisión definitiva. Sure, 
we try the kick and boom on this guy? Might as well, right? Oh, it worked. Nice. Cool. That's actually really good. Especially on hard. Oh, the sand ninjas. I don't know how to fight them. They're just obnoxious. There we go. Completa este desafío final y la sangre del demonio te dará el don de la vida eterna. That is that is definitely the best strat for knocking guys off. I've come up with a lot of weird nonsense to do that, but that's that's definitely the way to go. Um didn't go particularly well. We're gonna actually yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of time here for sure. I think. I never, I never know how long this cutscene is. Those fights just went kind of horribly. It's about 12 seconds. Try to remember that. I'm sure I won't. All right, now we have a uh, big run killer number two, I guess. The first hard difficulty specific run killer, which is Raish. World checkered too fast. It's not how this works. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, F Cab. Have a good night. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Yeah, fight him on normal so he has even more reason to run that. Just keeps avoiding it. Just to... I'm definitely not that petty. And I also definitely do not want to run Arkham City Lockdown. Or even attempt to play it. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with my current selection of Batman games. Sabes que no puedo hacer eso, Talia. Entonces, amado mío, tendrás que morir. Somos demasiado numerosos. Ah, Batarangs. Why have you failed me? I know why, but like. Come on, bro. Ah. Okay, this is fine. Just can't lose too much more health. More popular than SM64. I would love to see that. That would actually be amazing. Please accomplish that somehow. I dare you. I wouldn't even, I literally wouldn't be sorry because I would just be so genuinely impressed that Arkham City Lockdown, of all things, became the new most popular speed game. How have runs been? Uh, kind of rough overall. Lots of uh, unfortunate deaths because I forget that it's hard. But we're getting there. There we go. Hello, Cello Holmes. I'm looking really good. Yeah, this is a this is a solid pace for sure. And we got a new race gold. I will always take that. Still plenty of game left though, so let's just play it out and see what happens. Bruce, 
Siento decepcionar. Let me stop. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Alt F4 now. All right. I'll do it when I when I switch back to keyboard. I'll Alt F4 just for you. Dude, these grapple prompts are so cursed. Why? Okay. Oop. All right, pressing Alt F4 and, uh, oops, didn't quite get it there. Oh yeah, Alt F4 doesn't work in this game. Oh well. I've seen worse. Guess I'll just have to keep playing. Alt tab, sit patiently for a minute and eight seconds. I don't know, that sounds kind of boring. <laughs> Bad Alt F4 RNG, yep. Man, I hate when that happens. I hate when I press Alt F4 and the game just like rolls a dice and is like, you know what? Nah, not today. Uh, yeah, anytime I get a gold split, I the sound effect plays. And I have another one for when I reset. Waiting, I can find a way to install Arkham City Lockdown. Yeah, but why would I want to do that so that you can get a world record? I thought it was a weird audio bug. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, there's a, there's a weird bug in the game where coincidentally every time that I split, uh, he just says something. He just speaks. God, that'd be a weird bug. As, I mean, if I'm installing it, I'm gonna I'm gonna snag the world record for myself while you're busy trying to figure out how to make blue stacks work. All right, that wasn't quite what I had in mind, but that actually turned out okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it, you called my bluff. <laughs> okay. Okay, SPO. El cielo ya no uh, wreck. Everybody always throws batarangs at these things, and I've literally never done it once in my life. I know there's a reason for it, but like, I've I've literally never had to do it once in my life. I'm sure I'm gonna like soft lock him somehow. Oh, he's too bad to get golds. Ooh. Shots fired. Uh, the uh, the ice sculptures with the Nora ice sculptures. Apparently, the game can like soft lock or something, but like I've literally never seen that ever <laughs> personally. <laughs> so I don't really know where that came from. I feel like if you're just good at the game, that isn't a problem. Famous last words. I'm gonna somehow soft walk him now, even though he's like on the other side of the room. I feel like at one point I determined that this was better. I'm gonna try something, which is a bad idea. It didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to. Mm. What do now? It's a batarang, it's like a boomerang. Um, yes. It's like a boomerang, but it's shaped like a bat. And there's, like, remote control ones and stuff. No. It doesn't come back. Uh, it can come back. It, But, yeah, it usually does not. Uh-uh. 
The most Spanish? No. Interesting. Uh, that seems like it did work reasonably well. I don't think I'm golding this, but... No, I'm definitely not golding this, but... Or, no. I always forget how long that sequence is, but that was pretty good. Anyway, uh, Stacy time. Well, Vicky time and then Stacy time. I meant sure does save a lot of women in this video game, doesn't he? It saves a lot of men too, but you know. That's not as fun to point out. Shotgun snipe. Yeah, that would be great. Save more men than women. Um, possibly. Probably. I don't actually know. Oh, that's bad. Rip. Cash isn't as fun as the like Stacy. Yeah, you get it. Okay, that's actually not that bad. I healed, so we're good. Hopefully, I don't uh, do whatever I did to the cancel in the last run. Make sure to aim backwards before attempting a door cancel. Aim all the way backwards. Go prisoners. Oh, if you're counting those, then yeah. If you're counting, like, named characters, though, I'm not sure. Uh, there's 15 political prisoners. But they're not named characters, they're just generic people. Uh, what was that? Alright. Riddler hostages or men and women? That's a good question. Jack, uh, Ryder, yes. Oh, for fuck's sake, can I just do this stupid zip, please? There we go. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryder. That was a fun waste of time. Oh, all right, we're gonna play this a little safe here because I don't really, can you grapple up to the thing? There we go. I don't trust these snipers. They're probably still gonna screw me over anyway, but I'm just gonna take zero risks here and just go way over everything because I'm already losing time here. And before I went through all that and lost rec storage anyway. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're good. That always freaks me out. It's like fine 99% of the time though. Okay. Uh, I probably should have smoked. Oh well, too late for that. I also probably, well not smoke, I should have done the the thing where you bat claw the guys. I just forget to do that because I'm always surprised that I got the cancel at all. Anyway, uh, I know how to do the predator room now, so we should be better. Am I stuck? Yep. Awesome. Cool. That's okay. Feeling that is pretty quick. Yeah, but still, I would like it to be better. You know. Okay, oh, oh. That wasn't good. That's more like it. Okay, we are fine. I failed that quickly enough and I realized that I was stuck fast enough that we're okay. The predator room could still be a problem though. And even if I start losing time on this somehow, I'm still a minute ahead. Oh. There we go. And that's how you do that predator room. With like zero risk. Because I still had a smoke grenade to work with there. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just fine. Although the uh, I don't expect the uh, fight to go super well because I'm not I'm still not really adjusted to the timing for hard enemies. But we'll see what we have to work with here. Run. It's okay. It's still gonna be a lot better. Health looking like oh health's fine. I healed after the predator room. That's never a problem. And dying in this fight is definitely a risk, but like it has to go really bad for that to be a serious concern. Because there's there's a lot going on and it's hard, but like you have you have enough stuff to work with if you play your cards right. Mid combo. That's true. I could do that. I don't think I will. Don't mess me up, hammer buddy. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Don't charge. Excellent. That's better than my easy fight. That was literally perfect. All right then. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that was better than my easy gold by like a lot, <laughs> like a few seconds. I'm not 100% sure about that, but goddamn, that was like literally as good as that possibly could have gone. All right, now time to choke protocol 10 skip or something. Ugh. Okay, I can never do that properly anymore. Give me a gold. I mean, I don't track the community golds for hard. I only track them for easy. But, uh, yeah. Almost certainly. I don't like going under. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I feel like I haven't... Like, there's a way that can save time, but I haven't figured it out yet. So. And I don't think it would count on... Like, technically, you could count hard golds on easy, but the thing about combat is... Combat can technically be faster on hard because they attack you faster. So it's not... It wouldn't be fair to dump the hard gold on the easy gold for this split specifically. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Don't take more hit. Uh, they do, but with the multi-ground takedown, it's an instant kill. And same with ground takedown cancels. So, hard fights technically can be faster than easy fights. Ten... Second Kong Gold. That's interesting, because my, uh... Oh, well, fuck. No, no, no. Not what I had in mind. I don't know what I was thinking there. You can probably just run through there without dropping smoke. I just feel weird about it, because I think I've, like, almost died there. Not that it even matters, because you get up the tower and there's no Predator up here. I don't know why I did that. That was really stupid. Gonna 
do this the safer way. Thank God we skipped this, because I still don't have a strat in mind for this room. We obviously would if uh, if we had to actually do it in any percent, but uh, since we do not. It's... I, I try not to swear in general. Just, you know... Not, not for any particular reason, I just feel better about not doing it, but like, you know, some shit like that happens, and, you know how it is. Oh, that was almost a gold anyway, that's disgusting. Alright, so just gotta not die on snipers or clayface, and yeah, both of those are very real possibilities though, so... Play the game. I should heal between sequences, right? Like, I should definitely have full health right now. Yeah. It's just the one set of snipers that can, like, totally mess you up. The, the first four are generally fine as long as you don't miss a bat claw. If you miss a bat claw, you're kind of screwed. Just the one over there. That building can sometimes spot you when you go to take out the close guy here. Eh, you're gonna be mean. I can tell already. Or not. Okay. What are you looking at? He's literally just staring at the ground. Beautiful. Like, just, his sniper was literally just pointed at the ground in front of him for a good amount of time there. Okay, that was good. Oh, look at that gold. Double gold. <laughs> Alright. Okay, not gonna try this because it's hard. Yeah, I knew it. No os quedáis parados. I have two splits there. Uh, we have an auto splitter that splits on loading screens and cutscenes, and unfortunately, there is both a cutscene and a loading screen there. I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, improve the auto splitter so we don't have things like that, but it's not easy to do. The hardest part of this one is making sure you actually stay on the point when he does these weird swipe attacks on you. Okay. It's all down to phase skip. Oh, 
six. Uh, probably not. No. My Clayface Gold is really good, and the best possible time is 10701. Yeah, dude, if I don't die or totally choke uh, phase skip, then, like, this is better than my GDQ run, and it's on hard. Oof. Ah, these spawns aren't being very friendly. Seven, that's a reasonable prediction. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't like that at all. Oof. All right, might have to play this a little safer. Please let me dive across the arena. Oh my god. All right, I'm countering everything that gets thrown at me. Okay. Retro was one second off. That's pretty good. That was a pretty rough phase skip, but that's hard for you. And also, world record. Uh, your move. Can definitely get a 106 with a uh, better... Stacy, getting that first try would have been 106. But this is a very good run. I'm pretty happy with this. For for literally one day of grinding this, I'll take it. Thank you for the GGs, everybody. Hard sub one. Um, no. Okay, so what am I going to do next? What category am I going to do next, actually? I guess I should probably do the any percent with cat stuff and then do glitchless because I'll have to actually prepare for glitchless. Yeah, normal and then new game minus with cat. the whole run. Oh man. Well, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. You can watch it there. This is as good a time as any to uh, plug this. Console runs when? Uh, probably never, to be honest with you. So does you care? Yeah, you, you, as I recall, specifically ran it to make me run it again. Joke's on you, I like the category. <laughs> run? Uh, yeah. Very good run. I believe... Yeah, this was Deathless. I think. Yeah. That was indeed world record by just over two minutes.
BERSAMA SAMA INI